Okay, this is the last verse to Black Magic Woman. Um, it comes right out of the second solo. I'll play it along with the music for you once, and then we'll hit it note by note. Here we go. All right, so there it is, and you can hear it kind of went toward the outro to the end. Um, there's a little lick here at the beginning, instead of just going into the rhythm, like they did earlier, we have this lick, which is pinky on 12th fret, 2nd on 10th, this is 5th string and 4th string, 1st on 9th, 3rd string, and then 2nd on 10th of 3rd string. Then we slide up to 14th, and then 12th. So we have... From there we have this 10th fret, and this time we're sustaining the notes, we're not so much doing a rhythmic thing, we're just going to... And then we have... Down to our G minor, just like the first and second verse, with the hammer on. Back to 10th. 12th fret, 5th, 4th, and 3rd strings, and then... And then from there, we go back to the outro, which I might as well cover right now because there's not that much difference to it than the um, intro. It's basically we have 8 pull to 6, and then 7, 9, 7, third string, and then we do 6, 8, 6. And for the outro, this is a little different. He goes 8 and then 9-7. And then it gets heavier and it moves into the uh, next song which is Gypsy Queen. So we're fading out of Black Magic Woman and going into Gypsy Queen which I may or may not cover in a different lesson, I don't know. But this is going to be the end of Black Magic Woman. It goes... And that about does it for all the parts of Black Magic Woman. All we have to do next is uh, play along with the entire song so that you can see how all the parts fit together.